So, the other night, the Houston Rockets and the LA Lakers, you know, they were playing a little game of basketball. Braun got a tech and the Duco was ejected after an argument. For the longest they were just showing this video, really couldn't make out what they were saying to each other. Until the day. Wanna know what they said? LeBron like 6'6", 270 or something like that, man, I ain't no way I let E-May talk to me like that, man. I would have did his ass like this. I would have hit his ass with the Isaiah choke or the Latrell Sprewell. Say, family, we got some news to get into. A lot. Let's get into it. But oh, man, in other news, so it looks like a woman discovers over $86 million mistakenly deposited in her bank account, bro. Boy, that would have thought I was future. I would have ran off with them free bands. Ma Duke says she gotta do what she gotta do to try to help her child out. Cause YNW Melly's mom has started an OnlyFans account after the rapper's waiting retrial for double murder. That let mama bad now. Nah. And she expensive too. I'm gonna have to come back to her after Christmas time. I guess guys say it's not over until it's over. A 70 year old births twins becoming one of the world's oldest new moms, man. Congratulations to her. This happened a couple days ago where social media reacts to Ari Lennox going off on stage after an audience member throws an object on stage while she was performing. Well, when she performed recently, this is how she showed up this time with a baseball helmet on. She said, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all boy Josh Giddy alleged underage encounter only lasted for one night. Uh oh, sounds like they're trying to get him off. Peep this. So it looks like two people are charged with child endangerment after a minor is discovered with cannabinoids in a system. Adidas say we ain't fucking around with KD, man, because Adidas responds to Kevin Durant for Anthony Edwards' shoot this, bro. KD says you will never see me put my big toe in them motherfuckers. Adidas responded by saying, you dusty, about to retire soon anyway. Then they trolled him some more by saying, uh, meant to send that from the burner account. Cause you know, KD's been caught on his burner. That boy Diddy got a tattoo on his back. The lioness of marketing knew what it was. She said the tattoo on Diddy's back is, is Zila Danta. If you're Haitian or practice the religion, you already know what's up. But somebody who knows that shit, yup, they responded to that. They said what's crazy is he probably only got this knowing the surface level of her being the goddess of love because he's been on his brother love BS. Didn't even look into her being the fierce protector of women and children. He's finished. He should have just got the bad boy baby tatted on his back. And Rick Ross drops off some jewels for people who, you know, on hard times right now for the holidays. Rick Ross says, wait until tax season to get your kids Christmas gifts instead of going broke. Did y'all hear him? You fucked up this Christmas. Make sure you let your little ones know. Hey, man, I'm going to get you an outfit. I'm going to get you a video game, nigga, and a pair of shoes. I better get you anything once income tax comes. Once income tax comes. A lot of y'all can't say that because y'all got them kids spoiled. You tell them kids that shit, they gonna look at you on the phone like. Ooh, we got some birthdays today, but a lot of them go back three days ago. Happy birthday and belated birthday to Janelle Monet, Golden Brooks, the late Richard Pryor, Zoe Kravitz, Tretch from Not About Nature, Britney Spears, Lucy Liu, Trina Braxton, Montel Jordan, Lil Baby, Trina, Steve Harris, Tiffany Haddish, Orlando Brown, Tony Todd, Jigga Jay-Z, Tyra Banks, Action Bronson, the late great Fat Pat from the SUC, JT from City Girls, and the late great Chinks Drugs. Yes, sir. This same day yesterday, December 3rd, 1996, Death Row releases the compilation album Christmas on Death Row, man. And also on this same day yesterday, December 3rd, 1996, our boy Tupac featuring Dr. Dre released the classic iconic song, California Love. And on this day right here, man, December 4th, 2007, man, the late, great Chad Pimp C. Butler, he passes away, man. May the pimp continue to rest in peace. Boy, I didn't even know they had beef. But Tierra Marie threatens Carrie Hilson in a prolonged feud. I'm gonna whip your ass when I see you. All Carrie gotta do, call up 50, it's over. Survivor Diddy, coming soon. Former bad boy artist Mark Curry claims Diddy allegedly once broke the late Kim Porter's nose. He also alleges Diddy wiretapped her phone. Our girl Black China says that she's going to be held accountable for encouraging girls to sign up for OnlyFans. You can start with Melly Mama first. Studies say that having a one lazy day a week can improve mental health. Good, I'm gonna call out for my job. 
A woman is arrested after reportedly posing as a homeschool student and molesting a minor she met on social media. I know we on a roll for casing up men and the nasty shit they doing, but I've been reporting on a lot of women, teachers especially, doing some shit like this. We need to look into it. Our boy Michael B. Jordan reportedly crashed his Ferrari into a parked Kia in Hollywood Saturday night, man. Here, it happened around midnight on Sunset in North Beachwood. Police say that this blue Ferrari crashed into a parked vehicle on the street and no injuries were reported. Sources say he was heading back to the Fruitville station. Man, they need to stop, man. Carlissa, aka Blueface Mama, said this crazy shit, man. My son say he jack off to the people that look like his mama. Bitch, you out of order. While on the Joe Budden podcast, man, Joe Budden said that NBA Youngboy's music is trash and a result of a label push. Yeah, no Youngboy responded. Last thing I dropped was a side at two miles still in the top ten. First, Jeannie said Jeezy cheated on her. Then Jeannie Mae said she found out at the same time with the rest of the world that her marriage was ended. Jeezy said that's all cap and it's all there. Underlay, underlay, E-I, E-I, uh-oh, what's happening tonight? What's happening is, that boy Nelly, he got a shanty pregnant, man. He a new daddy. She's a new mother. Congratulations to them. And congratulations to our boy Macaulay Culkin, man. He finally got that star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And guess who was there behind him? My dudes from the Home Alone movie, man. That's really some heartwarming shit to see. I ain't lying. Hopefully this time, she ain't lose his ass. Yes, sir. Tonight's weather. Shouts out to, is it Cordell? Cordele? Cordele, Georgia. Got 65 degrees, but y'all mostly cloudy, big dog. Shouts out to y'all. And shouts out to Victoria Hollis, man. You jinxed me. Your Lions did beat my Saints. That was fucked up. I'm finna unfriend your ass. But say, family, I told y'all, man, I had a lot to talk about today. Y'all know I don't do TikToks. I do movies. You know they keep me shadow banned behind all this shit. So make sure y'all run them views up for me. Please and thank you. And if you're picking up what I'm putting down, make sure to also follow me on YouTube and Instagram at News with Zay. And follow me on Thread. I see the love and support. I really appreciate it. And if you want me to shout y'all in a weather report, city, town, country, birthday, just to the shit, whatever the cause may be, man, drop them shits in the comments. You know I'm going to take care of you. And until next time, family, Y'all be easy out there. Y'all enjoy yourself. One, two, ten. <laughs> Keep the change, you filthy animal.